Hey, Robert Murray here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to build an opt in funnel inside of Groove Pages or Groove Funnels, even if you've never built funnels before or never built them inside of Groove Funnels. And if you stay to the end, I'm going to give you some added bonuses. So let's dive straight on in. So we're going to go into Groove Pages and we're going to click New Site. And let's have a look in the templates. I'm not really looked in here. We've got an upsell page here. So I think I'm just going to pick this one here. And this should do. So all I'm going to be looking at is, um, we're going to get rid of that straight away. I don't need the logo. If someone's opting in on an opt-in page, they don't need to see your logo. They don't care um, who you are really. They All they care about is what can you do for them. So I'm just going to copy everything across from um, an opt-in page we've already created. Sorry, wrong one. I'm going to go with a dark blue. Perfect. And although um, I've got this round the other way in my ClickFunnels account, it doesn't really matter. All I'm doing is just using this for speed. Let's just centralize that. Let's just add um, a little block of text down below. Just want to add that down into that middle section there. And just make it a little bit bigger, not too big. Perfect. I'm just going to keep saving as I go. So I'm just going to add an image over here. And then I'm just going to get rid of this image here. So we go in here and pick our 3D booklet. Let's add that there. It's a bit too big. Let's come back in and change the dimensions, probably 300. So better, okay. So let's just save that. I'm not worried about the spacing or anything at the moment, that's fine. And, um, Place the container. This is what I think we were talking about the other day about it. Um, configure. So let's put download. Now, and I'll come back to the pop up design wise. I don't like the green. Let's put that as a red. That red. Okay, so I'm going to actually just get rid of these sections down here. I don't really feel we need them on an opt-in page. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. So then what we've got left is a footer, which is perfect. That's cool. Yeah, and we're just gonna add that little bit of text over here. Centralize that. Uh, that's fine, actually. That's kind of size. Like that. Let's drag that up a little bit so it's right below the button. 
not that close, sorry. Perfect. And then we've got another little bit of text to go down below here. Just put a bit of spacing above. It's cool. Okay. So we're nearly there on our opt in page. We save that. Let's just add some spacing over here as well. It's fine. Can add a little bit of spacing here as well. I don't want to mess around with this too much. It's just to show you um, the basics. I just want to drag that over a little bit. Just felt like it was a bit too far. <clears throat> and we've just got our button to still toy with. So let's do the same thing with our spacing over here. Just going to change the spacing down here because I put negative up here. Just I know it's going to mess it up when I move the button. So let's just go into the button now, and let's give that some spacing as well. Um, I don't know if they've changed the. Um, I know they were looking to change centralizing it, so you don't have to mess around. Doesn't look like they have yet, which is fine. So we're just going to drag that over a little bit. getting closer and now I'm just going to drag that down a little bit because obviously earlier on I messed around with that so I'm just going to remove that negative that looks fine okay cool okay so bar um, finishing off the, the bottom there the footer that's our opt-in page done so we're obviously going to add on here for a pop-up so let's go and create the pop-up and let's, um, let's have a look over here what my pop-up looks like. So it's almost complete. Okay, let's just see if we can recreate that quickly. I'm just going to use this one just because we're doing a training video. It's just a little bit easier. Oops, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to add an element in here, just to add an image, just down below. So I want to add the 3D booklet again on the pop-up. It might be too big actually, thinking about it, yeah. So let's go back in, just make that a bit smaller. Update our dimensions. That's fine. So let's go in here now and make that spaced out a little bit better. And let's just add some spacing at the top here. I don't want 
it's a little bit, it's a bit too high now, that'll do. Okay, so we're getting close to our opt-in page, so we've just got a download there. Oops, sorry. So let's get rid of that section there, text. Let's change the text on here. download now click update on there I'm not overly worried about the color but let's go and change it anyway that looks pretty pretty cat okay save and exit let's just save as we're here I'm not too sure if I even called that a pop-up name pop up one okay that's fine so let's go in now and set the um, the download button so set to pop up already so let's go and pick pop up one and click update and save so let's go in and create our thank you let's just call this the group coaching uh, enroll not code enroll formula and let's add an additional page let's just grab that thank you page it's fine So I'm just going to put in here, thank you, the group coaching enrollment formula is on its way. Okay. Just save that, and then we can just add some steps here if we want. Uh, we could add very simply. Obviously, if we hadn't already put <laughs> "thank you," the group coaching enrollment form was on its way to your inbox. We could put just download here. So I'll put that there in a way. Just you, know, you understand that um, I'm just doing this for a speed of the video. Download um, the PDF here, and then this could be join our Facebook community and then this last one could be you know, go and buy purchase the group group coaching code okay Save that. Not saved. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't need to do a lot with it. I mean, for this opt-in, that that works. Let's go and look at the pages. That's fine. And I think the only thing I'm probably going to need to do is just go in and just edit this to make sure. Um, so pop up number one. I'm just going to rename that. Just call it group standard. On which page this pop up appears, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Save and exit, and then let's go and view that over here. So, obviously, we haven't uh, modified the footer, that's not a big deal. I'd probably go in and mess around with this, make it bigger, and make it all stand out a little bit better. Boom, there's our pop up again. The spacing, the uh, I, I hope you understand. We're just trying to do this in a quick video just to show you how simple and easy that is to create an opt-in funnel inside of Groove Pages. 
So yeah, please go down below, comment, let us know what um, successes you're having with Groove Pages, Groove Funnels, Groove Cart, etc. And also what problems you're having and, and what videos we can shoot for you to serve you and inspire you to make sure that you can create your own websites, funnels, lead magnets, etc. And also, um, you know, click subscribe and click the bell to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming tutorials. And in fact, the next video we're recording is how to make money with Groove Pages and Groove Affiliate even if you've never made, never, never made any money online before. So go and watch that now.